So the Manny show is apparently very cringe, and I'm here to check out to see if he indeed is cringe or not in this one video that I'm watching from his channel. Uh, it's called The Revenge Trick, so let's go ahead and see if there are any laughs in it or not. <laughs> see, now you know how it feels. That was indeed very hilarious. That might have been the funniest video I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm only 24 years old, but that was indeed the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's because of the fact that he's gay, right? It's because sucking pee pee, right? Like that that's that's what people do, I think. I think that's what the joke is. Anyways, uh, apparently the Manny Show is kind of a piece of shit because he recently took down a video from Anguin, who's another commentary channel who has a bunch of videos, and I think he, in his in his video that before it got taken down, I think basically he was just saying that the Manny Show was just cringe, right? Most of his YouTube shorts content was just not very funny and just was insanely cringe, and that's basically all it really was. Just making some light jokes at him, critiquing the content as you do when you are allowing others to make videos on you. That's just what's going to happen, right? People are going to want to judge your videos on however way they're going to do it, and that's what a lot of other commentary channels do. They watch a video, dissect it, make jokes about it, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The main thing that I get from the Manny Show and his content is that he reminds me a lot of the vegan teacher, specifically, and that's who I have in mind. I don't know why, just, there's just something about him that just comes off as very similar to the vegan teacher. I mean, let I me mean, look at the picture side by side. They look basically identical. But he got Anguin's video taken down recently. Anguin made a video talking about how he basically just wants his channel to get deleted. Or he basically talks about how the Manny Show wants his channel to get deleted. And he went for the copyright strike route. And, you know, it might have been it might have been someone else. It could have been potentially someone else. But the contact info actually has Manny's name on it. And we know this might have actually been the Manny Show. Because he actually recently went after Dumpy. Who also recently made a video talking about the Manny Show. And. And he has since made another video talking about how the Manny Show tried to get his video taken down. I'm probably not going to show a whole lot of footage from the Manny Show because he might actually go ahead and try to get my video taken down. Even though I'm barely saying fucking anything about him, the most I did was compare him to an, a cringy vegan teacher on the internet. But that's basically it. Definitely he's not going for the cyberbullying route. He's going for maybe the fact that he thinks that the people are stealing his content. Despite the fact that if you go onto his YouTube channel, he definitely has a lot of videos where he's just stealing other people's content either through taking the audio bites and using it for himself or just taking someone else's video and using it for comedic effect or trying to use it for comedic effect rather and that's basically just the entirety of his channel and he might think that these videos might, might actually be hilarious and he's totally allowed to think that these videos are genuinely very funny but other people are also allowed to not think it's funny and critique it in their own way and that's what people were trying to do in their own videos on other channels and the Manny Show just straight up just didn't like it, right? He didn't like what people had to say about him so he went for the most extreme approach possible and he went to go try to take people's videos down and thankfully Dumpy's video, both of them are still up but Anguin is in a dire situation right now because he currently has a strike on his YouTube channel for something that just doesn't make any actual fucking sense if you really think about it for more than two seconds. I guess only time will tell how the, the development of the situation is going to go down, but hopefully that means that Anguin's video is going to end up being reinstated and, his, and the, the strike on his channel is going to get taken away. But uh, other than that, did you guys hear about Logan Paul suing CoffeeZilla? Uh, I'm definitely curious how that's going to turn out because Logan already basically admitted that his, his whole crypto zoo thing was a literal scam and that he thanked CoffeeZilla for investigating the scam that was going on and that he owed like thousands of people like hundreds of thousands of dollars so I guess only time will tell on how, how that will develop but other than that yeah the Manny show is just extremely cringe he's kind of a fucking douchebag for doing this. And, uh, yeah, I hope he suffers the repercussions for doing this. But, uh, that's besides the point. And you're free to come up with your own conclusions. But, uh, that's pretty much what I have to think. And keeping a video short, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. So, yeah, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you want to see more. Please turn on bell notifications if you want to see more content. And so you don't miss another video. Uh, fucking up the outro. I'm really tired. I didn't really sleep well last night. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.